Hi, I'm going to run through the uh, creation of a new record using Subjects Plus, the new version. So let's go over to the admin. This is the splash screen. We have a records tab here. We can choose to create a new record or browse the existing ones, um, but there aren't really any existing ones yet, so let's just create a new one. We go in, we see the screen. Uh, new record. We can add a description here. We'll call it test, test, test. And since that middle test is quite significant, we'll make it bold. Uh, we can add a URL. Just start, start typing. We see this history cooperative. We'll use that. Um, <clears throat> depending on the format type we choose, the location box will be different. So if we went print, it'll request a call number and it'll be a little smaller. If we do print with URL, uh, basically it'll give you a box to put in the URL and also a box to put in the call number. And this can be useful if, for instance, you're pointing to a catalog record. So I could put the call number of, you know, T and whatever, whatever, whatever. And here I would add the, the direct link into the catalog. But we just want a regular URL for this one. We can do the access restrictions, um, whether it's on campus only, off campus. Because we're logged in as a kind of super user, we can add this to the A to Z list of databases. Ordinarily, it would be the electronic resources librarian and the admin would see that one only. And likewise, the display node is something that um, only the admin and the e-resources manager would see. And here you could put something like five simultaneous users only or whatever. Here we have the C tags, which uh, is just a, a way of kind of um, slicing and dicing your record. So you can say that this one has full text and it has images and it has audio. And as a result, you can generate a list of all the items that have audio and this one would show up or that have full text or what have you. Um, and if we scroll down a bit, you, we can delete this location. We can also add another location for something that maybe has both a print and an online version. But we're not going to do that now. Um, over here we have this, the source types. Uh, this default source type, if, if it's an item that has a whole bunch, it'll be computed. Almanacs and yearbooks is just alphabetically at the top, so that's why it shows up. So I could say, okay, this new record, this history cooperative is a, you know, let's say it's an encyclopedia, which is not. Let's say it's a journals and magazines, like online journals. Um, and then we would assign subjects for it. So we've only got one subject so far, so we would add general. Um, and we can delete this subject, except it won't let us because you must have at least one subject. You can do a um, the source override if the default source type is journal magazines, but you know in in some particular subject you don't want it to be called that. Uh, you can do that here, and you can also do a note override. And basically, this will mean when you're in the general guide, the text that you put here. Um, will show up and will override the text that's over here. So the idea is, you know, maybe the electronic resources person puts in a default text and then um, an individual subject specialist might say, well, you know, for my subject I want it to, to be more focused. So it'll say this. Um, and when we're ready, we can save the record. And here we, here we are and now we have this record. And you notice this is uh, highlighted green because it has a description override. And, uh, and that's essentially it. Now, if we go over to the records browse screen, which is going to be a little messed up because it's used to a wider screen, if we go to the letter N, uh, we will see our new record. And you know, ordinarily, there would be hundreds and hundreds of records in here. And we can see all the ones that are restricted, uh, all the ones that are free, um, meaning there are no restrictions, and new record fell. So this is what I was talking about with the slicing and dicing um, of your records from the administrative side. So that, and then the other thing you can do is you can search. So uh, it's, it's got the autocomplete and as we're typing it shows. So our new record, this will take us into that record again. And that's it, thank you.